This morning, we have a very special baby dedication, a special baby that um, has been born, and it's a blessing every time we get a chance to uh, dedicate a child. I think heaven smiles. So I would like to invite David's parents, David Wycliffe Dyer, and his parents and his family to please come up as we uh, spend time dedicating this special child. You know, in Psalms, the book of Psalms, 127, verse 3 to 5, it says that children are a heritage from the Lord. Amen. You know, there are Bible stories uh, that we can find where parents such as you today here, thought it was significant enough for them to bring their child, their baby, before God, to dedicate them in a special way. This story, like the story of Hannah, mother of Samuel, who dedicated her child to the service of God. We can also think about Mary and Joseph and how they brought baby Jesus to the temple to be dedicated to God. And so here you are today as well, bringing little baby David to be dedicated. You know, even Jesus himself loved baby dedication. In Matthew chapter 19, verse 13 to 15, it says, Let the little children, Jesus said, Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. And in, it says that he laid hands on the baby and on the little children, and he blessed them. And so here we are today, 2,000 years later, celebrating this beautiful gift. You know, we think about a child as a miracle, right? And do we think David is a miracle? Amen. Amen. David, you are a miracle. <laughs> And so I, I want to think about that and, and, and in terms of dedicating baby David to God. It takes mom and dad, right? It also takes family to raise this child in the, in the ways of God, right? And so I'm going to ask you a few questions here. Think, think these questions through in terms of commitment, a covenant that you're making with God. Is it your desire that baby David belong wholly to God? Yes. Amen. Do you pledge, mom and dad, to guide and instruct little David in the way of the Lord? Amen. Amen. Do you promise to meet the physical, mental, and spiritual needs of little David. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And it doesn't stop there. It also, it takes, a, it takes a village to raise a child. Amen? So here we have the family of faith, the community. And I'm going to ask you a question. Are you, as a church, committed to provide providing the support they need to raise little David in the way of the Lord. Amen. You say yes, amen? amen? Amen. So guess what? You've got a community of faith that is, that is supporting you as you choose to raise this little baby in the way of the Lord. So now at this moment, I like to have a special prayer for little David. And if, if you don't mind, I'd like to uh, hopefully he won't wake up. Will he? Yeah. Oh, what a sweet little baby. Yes. Yes, you're sweet. Yes, you're, he's, he's dreaming right now. He's dreaming. Yeah. Well, let's pray for him, okay? And we're going to kneel here and everyone else, you can stay seated. But please uh, join us as we pray for this special baby this morning.
Dear Heavenly Father God, we come before you this morning thanking you for the miracle of little baby David. Thank you, Lord, for giving him as a special gift to his parents, Lord. And thank you, Father, because you have given them this miracle, but also have given them the conviction to bring him before you today with the desire that you would be with this little baby in a very special way, that you would protect him, Father, that you would bless him as he grows physically, mentally, and spiritually. And Father, they know they can't do this on their own. They need your help. So Father, they've come before you today asking that you would grant them wisdom and knowledge and patience and long-suffering, Father, and the faith to share and to communicate your truth and your love to baby David. Oh, Father, I pray that you endow them with all the gifts and abilities, Lord, to, to do just that. And I also pray, Father God, that you would work in the hearts and the minds of our, our community of faith as well, as they, too, support and provide the, the help that they, little David needs to grow in the knowledge of Jesus Christ. That one day he, too, may learn to give his heart to you, O oh Lord, to find in Jesus Christ his Lord and Savior. We dedicate him to you, Father, and we put him in your hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. have something special for for mom you know? and we also have a special book for you so that he can grow in the knowledge of God and um, we have a certificate we'll have that to sign it later but, uh, God bless you thank you very much